Now, did you have a little bit of um, input on your character? I had, a, I had a lot of input. Yeah. I was really lucky because yeah. I got involved so early on and not really any of the other parts had been cast, at least not 100%. Mm -hmm. So I had the time, it's the first movie I had the time to really say like, who do I want Adele to be? I wanted to change her hair color. I wanted her to look very different to the two characters I played prior. I wanted her to have different tattoos that really resembled who Adele would be, not Ruby Rose. And so I, I had a lot of costumes. I, we designed the costumes and chose everything very um, collaboratively. And even half the, thing, half the things that made it to the trailer were me ad-libbing. Really? Yeah. Because you have a lot of comedy in there. Yeah, is, I is snuck that in. That's something Ruby would say. That was your stuff. It wasn't necessarily something Ruby would say. It was the character. It was the character, yeah. yeah. Like, I wouldn't... Uh, some of it was a little bit um, like basic humor, you know, mm -hmm. it's like going to a fart joke, which I am not, it's actually not my humor, but in and amongst that humor of Becky and, and Vin and Don and, and Tony, I just was like, I've got to get a bit more of Adele in here because she's a little bit playful, mm -hmm. you know, and in a certain way that I, I really like about her, like a, a it's like a childlike quality about her, even though she's kicking butt, she's got a really cool little I don't know, something else in there. And so I really enjoyed having these kind of really basic, but almost, I mean, they're kind of ridiculous jokes. What about this, because uh, the, the stunt work is so unbelievable, because that, that's a huge part of the movie, obviously. And yeah. It's a lot of fun. Um, how much of that was involved you training a lot? All of it. Yeah. <laughs> all of the stunts, all of the training. Uh, Vin and I competing in the gym made that easier. You, you competed with him in the yeah, gym? Yeah, always. That work? It would usually work that he, if he did 45 minutes, I'd do 46 minutes. If he did 60 minutes, I did 61. Or if I was really tired, I just did not want to be there, I would just end up where he would be doing push-ups and, and crunches or whatever, and I'd just be like, he'd be using me for a push-up. So I would have to sit on his back. because so I was like, I'm done, but like I still want to be involved. And he's like, get on my back. And then he'd be doing these push-ups with me. And then, uh, yeah, it was fun. It was really fun. I'd try to distract him so that he wouldn't have a good workout because I really wanted to beat him. How far do you guys go back? Have you known each other? No, we met because he, he really wanted me for the role and I was really honored in that. And so I was like, well, I've never met Vin Diesel. Like, what does he picture me as? Who was this role? And I, I looked and thought it was awesome and was really honored. And the next thing you know, I'm meeting him and we've just got this amazing sort of chemistry together. He, well, he's on board as producer as well. This is, yeah. and of course, he started in the original, 50, I couldn't believe it, 15 years ago. Isn't that wild? Yeah. Um, what kind of guy is he behind the scenes when he's taking kind of that, that mantle of producer and he's got responsibilities other than the, the acting? He, you know, DJ always refers to him as being like the creative producer, mm -hmm. more so than the timekeeper and the efficient. Yeah. Uh, but in that is is Vin trying to make every scene perfect or every scene bigger and better. And there were times where he'd want to, you know, there's just us saying hello to each other yeah. and he'd be like, let's make it bigger and better. Let's make this the scene of the movie. And it's like, it really is us, us saying hello. Like we can probably leave it at that. And other ones where he would change the scene entirely with these ideas and we'd start, you know, having our input and the scene turned into something completely different. Like the, the scene where I meet Tony Collette, the whole of it, the whole group of us meet her, ended up being completely different to what was scripted. And those moments, it was, it was really cool.